G'day guys, I'm Thalen from Goliath Solar and Electrical. I've been an electrician here for about seven years now. I've been called to a client's house because their uh, online monitoring portal is showing that the Fronius inverter is offline. However, it is currently operational. Uh, they've just changed their, their internet provider and they haven't changed their network uh, settings on their Fronius to match up to the new network. So I'm gonna show you how to, how to change that, how to get the online monitoring portal up and running again. So all you need is your phone and your, your Wi-Fi details for your new router. Uh, and I'd recommend having another device to watch this video whilst we uh, go through the settings and change all that up uh, to get it on again. So to start, what you do, you've got your four buttons on the Fronius inverter here, and each button is represented by the image on the bottom. So first up, you've got up, down, back, and enter. If you hit back, it will take you to the Fronius menu. If you scroll left twice to the setup menu, hit enter. Scroll down once to the Wi-Fi access point, hit enter. Hit activate Wi-Fi access point, enter. Now the access point is online on the inverter. The top one here, Fronius240, is the network name of the uh, Fronius. The password is 12345678. All right, so now you've activated the Wi-Fi access point on the inverter. Now we're ready to use our phone to set up the Wi-Fi network. All right, with the Wi-Fi access point activated on the inverter, we're now gonna go to the phone uh, and connect to the inverter uh, on the phone. So open up the settings uh, on your phone. Uh, for Apple, it's just called settings. Should be similar on the Android products. Uh, go to the Wi-Fi network there. Open that and it will load the available Wi-Fi networks. Uh, so we're looking for the Fronius 240. Uh, this number here is assigned randomly to your inverter, so it should be on the screen there, but hit that. Enter the password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit join. Uh, and you'll find that password on the screen of the inverter as well. Once that's connected, we're going to go to the internet browser of choice for the whatever phone you've got. For Apple, it's Safari. Up in the top of the browser, you're going to enter the number 192.168.250.181. Hit go. And that will bring you to the inverter homepage. From here, you can see the inverter production uh, on the left there, uh, but what we're looking for is the settings up in, in this sidebar here. So you open the settings, go into the networks, so I'll just zoom in there, go across the network on the left hand side, third one down, network interfaces, and then you'll find this screen here. You want to make sure that the WLAN is selected. And then down the bottom here, you want to look for your Wi-Fi network that you've at your house. So for, for this one, we've got the Telstra network. So we're going to look for the Telstra down here. So Telstra 980. We're going to set the password in there. So this one's different for everyone. You're not going to have the same password for your Wi-Fi network. All right. Once you've got the, the password entered there, hit save. And then scroll to the top where it says network interfaces. On the right hand side, there's a tick and a cross. Hit the tick and that will save the information. <coughs> That's, and it will tell you that the network has been changed and the inverter Wi-Fi access point will disconnect, at which point you won't be able to talk to it anymore. So once you've hit that uh, tick in the top right to confirm the, the Wi-Fi changes, the access point on the inverter will deactivate. To get back to the home screen, you just hit back, back, scroll across the, the little house, hit enter, uh, and it will show you your production. Now you can log into Solar Web, uh, and if you put in everything correctly, or the, the network password, uh, it will be online again in about five minutes uh, and you'll be able to see that backlog data from when the inverter had no internet connection uh, in about 20 minutes. All right, thanks for watching the uh, instructional video on how to connect, reconnect the inverter uh, to your Wi-Fi network. If you're still having issues, uh, I'd recommend maybe go, go back and watch the video again, do it step by step. Uh, make sure you're putting in the correct passwords uh, and then if you're still having issues, uh, you can call the uh, Goliath office and we'll, we'll go through it over the phone with you. Um, yeah, thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.